guess what, boys and girls? I'm on my way to Tampa. I'm taking a piss. I'm a billion miles on top of the fucking earth. Uh, I totally hope I don't die. Uh, you'll be getting a nice little update throughout the weekend of my crazy ass trip with my lunatic brother. Ah! As I come to you again while I'm peeing, I think I'm going to make the theme for the trip. I somehow find it less offensive if I think, hey, that girl's pretty cute. I'd like to have the sex with her. As I said, that to me is less offensive than my brother going, hey, there's a little honey for you. Because he's trying to marry me off or something. I don't I don't I don't know. And they're not attractive, whatever one he picks out uh, for me. He's married. He's uh, pretty faithful, which is pretty ad admirable to him. Although he did warn me before I came to pee that, watch out, there may be a Mexican in the bathroom. It's a onesie. There's nobody else in here. That's all. It's 6.20 in the fucking morning. I'm supposed to be on vacation. My brother is a morning person. Now, I can be a morning person. Let's go on fucking vacation. Go to bed. Note to self. I love my brother. Never mention to him that you want to eat at some sort of specific restaurant prior to going to the destination. Because I've heard nothing else for the past 36 hours. Except. We gotta find this place. We gotta find this place. Why? It's up the fucking street. Because you said you wanted to eat there. Okay. My idea would be to go up the fucking street. He needs to pinpoint it like Osama bin Laden. Yeah. But I, I'm at a loss for words. Love you guys. Bye. Specifically, he's eating a dollar and eight cents worth of potato wedges with ketchup. A banana, not the banana from last night, a new banana, and a beer for lunch. And despite all my Facebook posting, this is actually pretty fucking cool. It's a great sociological experiment. Fifteen after nine PM and he's out like a light. Sleeping like a baby. Good night, Greg Early. Good night. Big news. The uh, skinny jean fad pisses him off. Because if you ain't got no ass, you don't need to be wearing jeans that make you look like you have an ass trying to compute that right now. Chilling outside the lobby where I get the Wi-Fi. Uh, so now instead of crashing into the ocean, we get to crash into buildings. Awesome. Should have seen the look on my brother's face when I spent four dollars on a Diet Coke and a bag of pretzels on the plane. <gasps> Finally, a nice breeze, cold drinks at the beach, solo chilling. The lesson to be learned from this guy is that perseverance and patience make the best out of a bad situation, and everything usually turns out. And that girl's got a nice belt, but that's just awesome. Like 7, 7.30. Day two is getting ready to start. Let's hope for the best. And you can tell by the smile on my face that it's very little hope. But we'll see. Apparently the beauty of life for some people is exploring. And, you know, finding new shops, places, and things to do, places to eat when you're on vacation. 
sometimes in your own hometown and to other people it's paying five hundred dollars to go watch CMT and drink Dos Equis at 8.30 in the morning yeah I don't understand it either totally ping genius move let's let's drive an hour to the beach when there's a beach five minutes away from the hotel are you fucking kidding me really well we finally found a beach upon looking for parking we found the public parking but what was happening in the public parking right beyond it? A wedding. So when my brother can't find a place to park, what does he do? And it doesn't... It takes a lot to embarrass me. He lays on the horn. Ugh. As we drove home from the beach, for the hour and 15 minutes we were there, I didn't have the heart to tell him since he got lost on the way back that my original way would have been a whole lot quicker than the 45 minutes we took to drive to the other beach he wanted to go to. And I'm in love with her. Yes, but that's beside the point. Anyway, he's getting beer. I'm taking the car. I'm going to the beach. Smoke a cigarette, too. All right. Bye bye. You're an update number whatever. I just had the most amazing case of the end ever. Coming to you live again via urination. Uh, my brother's at the hotel room. I'm down on the beach at probably my favorite restaurant. Of course, it's technically the only one I've been to, but whatever, it's my favorite. And uh, just having a good time, a little separation. You know, too much one person can do that much for you. And I'm sure I've drove him crazy as much as he's drove me crazy. So, uh, since I made this a plan to record a lot while I'm peeing, because uh, I think it's funny, it may not be, but to me it's hilarious. Get ready to have a quesadilla, some drinks, enjoy the sun and the fun, some acoustic music, and uh, who knows? I know I'll be coming to you again from the airplane, but that's not till tomorrow, so who knows what the hell will happen between now and then. Bye! Guess what? I'm peeing again. That's the only update. Yeah. Hi there. You may recognize me from earlier in this film. Just got out of a rousing discussion with my brother who has told me that college is only for education, not opportunity. So if you're a college athlete, you should go make money at your whatever you majored in instead of making money at basketball if you could, and also any other opportunity other than the NBA, such as the NBA's developmental league, leagues around the world. That's just sellouts. And they need to admit that they're not good enough to ever play in the NBA, and they're losers. Somewhere in the middle is he caught himself, but he was just about to invalidate my four-year college degree because I waited till later in life to go. And it took me longer than four years to get it. This is all coming from a man who almost finished his two-year associate's degree. Bud Light pretzels for breakfast. <laughs> well, we got our tickets. It's still like an hour before the plane leaves. Or maybe two. And I'm peeing. Yeah. Look at my hands. 32,000 feet in the air. Guess what I'm doing? Yep. Yeah, I'm peeing. Uh, I don't know what time it is. But hey. I'm peeing. So we're leaving on the plane and 
this morning. We haven't left yet. First of two things I hear this morning are after he's up watching TV, making a little bit of noise, not on purpose, just how he is, is you don't have to be in any hurry. It's not even four o'clock yet. Our plane leaves at six. Actually, we have to be at the airport at six. It's not four o'clock in the morning yet. And what's he watching on TV? At three something in the morning? An interview with Janet Jackson. The second first thing I hear in the morning is... She's got some coconuts on her, doesn't she?